sometimes it's like frustrating because they got to be real niche and they're just like real. Yeah. Oh, I get it because I'm in the community. Yeah. But sometimes, sometimes it can be good. Yep. Unfortunately, we live in a world of memes. I like memes. Good ones are good. Bad ones are fucking just terrible. Don't talk about Sorry. memes like that. Don't. Why are you so mad about memes? I'm not mad about memes. I'm just mad. Yes, let me let me know if you want to talk about it later. <laughs> if you have, sounds like you got some <laughs> some unresolved things going on. It's all good. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's all right. We're jumping into this. <laughs> we're jumping into this. Uh, Double Fox versus Falco Sheik. Same team you saw last oh, time. Oh, shit. We're just going to go straight into the winner's finals. All right. I thought we were going to see a little bit more of um. Uh, well, I guess, okay. In losers, we've got Team OU. They've got to play uh, some other team, and then we'll probably get them versus uh, Balloon Day and Woke Fox. But in the meantime, we got winner's finals. So Esquire and Coco. We saw them, I think, upset. Balloon Boy and, and Woke Fox earlier. I mean, I bet those two are pretty upset about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see what they can do. Um, no, I tried. So last week, uh, Millhouse teamed with Coco, and Woke Fox and Balloon Boy played them super close, and I think they reset the bracket even. But we've got many of the same people. Or no, and now we've got Millhouse and Coco on opposite teams this week. Yes. Bringing their, their doubles prowess. Yeah. To the um, pretty solid start for the red team, but they're both at high percent. They're gonna play pretty safe. Hard has been hitting a lot of shield drop shines today, so people gotta be careful about hitting him on the on the platform. Very stalled as well. Yeah, Arnar doing the squid, completely nullifying any kind of two v one. Yep. Spends a little bit too much time. Uh, oh, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. I think she, Milhouse, like technically owned the ledge because he got hit down to it, but like he didn't he didn't touch the ledge though. I, I thought he did that like drop thing where he like fell to it, but like wasn't on it. No, he never grabbed the ledge, so I, I think that was just a tech error. Just a miss. Uh, yeah, okay. I think he just held the angle. I'd like to see that again. Pass it. Milhouse certainly hey, didn't hit the hey, ledge. Somebody clipped that. Yeah, somebody clipped this extremely mundane interaction. Fox layers. <laughs> Good spacing on the back here, and now the chain's out. We're gonna say that was on purpose. That looked like it could have been on purpose. Millhouse, Millhouse could say that was on purpose. I believe him. Yep. Ooh, that <laughs> bear was very scary. That was a really bad protection from uh, from Coco there. He easily yeah. could have prevented. Sheik now he's from off stage again. Yeah. He easily could have prevented Sheik from going down and For taking sure. that edge guard. Or at the very least, saved uh, Esquire. So like it was a well placed up B. Instead, got two uh, dead boxes. It is hotter than hell in this Yeah, room. I. Yeah, that's why I. Shreem, you can't see this. My uh, pants all the way rolled up. Can we get some goddamn climate control with you? Or just some leg shots of my my legs. Or, I, or you know, whatever the stream wants. Anyway, uh, yes, back the, to classic, the, <laughs> the classic commentator's leg cam. <laughs> the hey, beloved feature of the, of the, smash, of the smash cast. I'm just. Please don't do this. <laughs> I do not do this. I will not allow it. I will not allow this. Uh, all right, so last stop uh, for everybody except, <laughs> except for Sheik. Milhouse doing a good job holding it down, getting the edge guard, and now we've got two reds versus one blue. This is doable. This is doable, actually. This is very doable. If he can clean this edge guard up before Milhouse gets back and down tilts him, then he's good, but he didn't. He didn't, and now he's off the stage dying. Yep, reverse fair from Milhouse. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Uh, Fox holding out, trying to do Get something. Away. Do something. Eats the reverse fare. Such as life. For a damn dinner. Yeah, I'm about to get some dinner after. I'm about to munch. After we're done with doubles. This venue's so cool, man. <laughs> God damn. Uh, so not, not bad. You guys. Just to give you a little flavor right now, we're in our own dedicated booth with all kinds of monitors and sound equipment. We're commentating on a match that's happening in the other room on a projector with everyone on their own monitor. This is this is some kind of fucking setup, man. I'll tell you, this we we got we are spoiled now, in Columbus. We got a place where you can come, you can play doubles now at a weekly level, which you didn't have before. We've got a five dollar weekly, which we did not have before. 
Uh, we've got a place where if you want to practice your commentary, you can come in. You can practice some commentary. We got food, and we got other kinds of fucking games, whatever you want, man. We got bitches, man. <laughs> this, is, this is a cool venue, man. This is a cool tournament. I wonder how many people are going to have their singles this week. Well, let's get back to the match. So we're opening up. Blue team already at a deficit. Similar to last match. Oh, that's going to be another one. He, okay, good. I thought he just stole the edge from his yeah, teammate. Yeah, that was weird. That was a weird, yeah. I think he ate a laser, actually, and that's why he didn't die. I could be wrong, though. Yes, yeah. lyrics. We still do prevent, uh, prefer CRTs. Well, I don't know if we prefer them, but they're just necessary. Yeah. In almost all situations. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't we don't play on CRTs here. Um, I mean, there uh, are converters. Th there, there's monitors nowadays and converters for for this kind of thing where it's basically negligible and makes no difference. And anyone who tells you otherwise is kind of kind of doesn't know what they're talking about or just lost. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most complaints about these kind of monitors come from someone who just lost. Well, I will, I'll, I'll say I do complain about them, even when I'm winning, uh, sometimes. I don't know, it feels weird, and it's something that's probably negligible, but it just, like, sometimes it just gets in your head. I like the curvature of the picture on a, on a CRT. Yeah. It, it just, curves at the edges. I feel at home. Yeah, it's nice and warm. I think Millhouse just got shine, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Because they're up a full two stocks. This, I'll be honest, is going about how I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I, I like Millhouse for any any double set that he's, any doubles team that he's on at a local level. Yeah. That doesn't involve anyone above him on the beer. Which is only a couple people now. Man can play doubles. I'll be, I'll be honest. Not to, oh. not to, not to diminish R&R, though. Yeah, he's, he's all right. Oh, good conversion from Blue Fox. I think it was Coco. What is this boy doing? Coco, Coco's in the Kata tag. Yeah. That was a weird reverse there. I don't know that hit reverse. So every time I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been made to eat my words, but then immediately eat saying I had to eat my words uh, because now it's back to being bad again. Good laser. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Absolutely everything covered there. Mi like, yeah, Millhouse is going to cover everything with high 100% yeah. of the time. Yeah. Millhouse was there with the down smash on the on the straight forward. He was there with a the forward air on the go up. He, They had everything covered there. I still think he should have gone up, though, because yep. R&R &R was just going to press R. Hmm. Anyways, game, what is it, three? Yeah, it's going to be game three. They're probably going back to stadium. Red team going in two games up to none. Um, Red team just starting up the match, like, literally just staying in their own side. And I think that's kind of a lot of confidence. So, yeah, Red team with a gift to Blue team here early. Yeah. We'll see if... We'll see if it's enough to help them maybe create a little bit of space here. Or a little space, get a little momentum going. Yeah. Possibly see a game four. Anyways. <laughs> Good conversion. I didn't think anyone was going to convert off that, but Millhouse with the presence of mind. Up there? No. No conversion. But Millhouse will probably clean this up now. Okay. Fantastic. That went really well, but I would have really liked to. Not, no, before that happened, I would have really liked to see Millhouse, or uh, r, r try to convert off Millhouse's forward tilt, but it ended up okay. Yeah. That was a great play. Yeah. Good presence of mind by Millhouse to, uh, Put the other fox there where the conversion was about to take place. Yeah. They're out of shield, yep. R and R putting his body there just so his teammate can safely get back to ledge. Ooh, accidentally accidentally uh messes up his own team's edge guard with that laser on Sheik. Otherwise I think he'd be taking a stock there, but it yeah. looks like they're gonna take them both anyway. Yep. yep. Millhouse holding on to his first stock still. It's, it's going to be a problem for blue team as long as that's the case. Yeah, unfortunately, ever since R&R &R side beat off the stage, red team actually hasn't lost any stocks until now. But the thing we mentioned earlier about blue team maybe creating a lead, separating a little bit, no. the opposite is <laughs> Yeah. They, they got to take this stock off Millhouse if, if they really want to have any shot here. Because as long as Millhouse is just going to tank this stock, it's, it's, it's just going to get worse. And he's he's totally content to just yeah he's Do that. He's, he's on his beach king full on like. exactly he is just gonna babysit that ledge and clean up everything that comes to him. 
There is no reason to do anything else at this stage. He's actually match. doing a really good Mixed King compression. That yeah, was, exactly. That was incredible. That whole last, like, two minutes almost. Yep. Really good stuff. And, you know, also R&R &R playing the kind of one and a half versus two game really well as well. Yep. <laughs> Millhouse is doing such a good job policing that, like, path back to center there. It's like not letting anybody get through and keeping them all in the mixer. Oh, the laser reset, but not getting anything off it. Oh, they had him pinned. Let's make it back again. We're gonna see Milhouse tank it again. This is getting rough. Yeah, it's getting real out of hand. And Milhouse is gonna clean that up. Oh, he gets just—he just gets pineapple. And yeah, this is borderline undoable. Twenty percent already on blue box. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're in a percent range where you can maybe clean these up and make it a, a, a one stock each 2v1, but I, I don't see it happening. It's over. Oh, oh. That was a weird ending, but Red yep. Team takes it pretty solidly. Um, not much competition. Squeaky uh, clean 3-0. Yeah.